Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Pisces. And this is going to be for the week of the 25th through the 31st of December, 2023. I will be using my Guardian Angels Message Tarot. To clarify, I'll be using my Angel Wisdom Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. So let's see what messages we have for this week ahead. Let's see. So Pisces, this is for you. Okay, we got the Empress. This is past energy, abundance. We got the Knight of Air, very determined, expecting something, very motivated. Some new messages were you waiting for? The Ten of Air, endings, and maybe some recovery here. Um, whatever this ending was, um, it did cause some sadness, but it also caused you some relief. So it was sad, but it felt like a weight was lifted off your shoulder. We got the Ten of Air. Then we have the Release card. Endings and transformation. Remember, when things end, it just makes room for new things to come in. We got the Nine of Air. You having some anxiety. What's going on? Hmm? Now, I don't know if this Mercury retrograde affects Pisces. I have no idea. I don't know much about astrology, period, but I know how it affects me as a Gemini. And I asked my mom the other day how she was feeling. She said she was feeling like a little anxious, you know? And she's a Pisces, but I'm not sure. Could be that, or maybe you're having some negative thoughts that are keeping you up at night. Remember, worry brings more worry. We got the nine of air. And because of that, you're to stand still. You can't move. The high priestess, use your intuition. And the page of water, you need to start listening to your intuition. You're very intuitive. You need to start paying attention. We got the eight of air. You're having some self-doubt. You might have got yourself caught up in a situation that you can get yourself out of. You're just doubting that you can't. Trust and believe you can. If you put yourself in the situation, you can bring yourself out of it. Sometimes it's a little difficult. You just gotta make a plan. Be considerate of other people's feelings. Be considerate of your feelings, you know? So we got the Empress was the first card. And this is for Pisces for the collective. For my babies. All right, so let's see. So on top of the Empress, we have the Emperor, stable energy. Now, or this could be an uh, Aries energy that was in your environment. Now, this energy is not a, a romantic energy at all. Um, this might be someone that you can talk to, maybe someone who gives you advice, but it might be an Aries energy in your environment. But this is on top of the um, Empress card. Then we have the Six of Fire and the Nine of Cups. Oh no, you had some stability here. The Six of Fire is about victory and wise choices that you made. You got the Nine of Cups, your wishes came true. Hey, there we go. 
The Emperor, <laughs> the Six of Fire, and the Nine of Cups. But then you were still waiting for something. What were you waiting for, Pisces? You were very determined about it, whatever it was. You're kind of stuck. You're kind of stuck because of an Earth energy, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn here. There was an ending with this energy here. But it made way for a new beginning. And this, when this ending happened, it felt a little relief. Remember I said it was a feeling of relief, but it brought you some sadness. So we have the awakening card, which is like you're to stand still. And that's because you're going through something right now, you know, an ending, maybe a broken heart, feeling a little sad, but also relief. And remember, you're making way for new things to come in. So you got the awakening card, you got the king of earth, and you got the release card. And the King of Earth could be an energy. It could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Or maybe you're just feeling stable. So let's see on top of the Ten of Air. We got the Four of Cups. You deep in thought about it. This, this thing. I mean, it was... Uh, it brought an abundance of negativity to you. You knew it too. That's why you are that's why you're relieved right now. I got the four cups, I got the ego, and I got the ten of earth. And the ten of earth is about abundance, you know, and it's supposed to be about financial abund abundance and prosperity. But because of the ego card and the four cups here, I'm gonna say the relief is because this earth energy had brought a lot of negativity to your environment an abundance of it i could be wrong remember take what resonates and leave what does not okay i deliver these messages with my heart to you okay so just take what resonates darling maybe listen to the message maybe there's a message here for you somewhere because i always talk about healing and loving opening your heart so we got the four cups we got the ego card and we got the Ten of Earth above the Ten of Air. And then we got the Release card again. The Release card is about endings, transformation, freedom, the past, Nine of Air. We got the Seven of Earth, we got the Nine of Air, we got the Five of Fire. Now, okay, so <laughs> maybe this energy made you lose some money. Let's just say that was the situation. I don't know the situation, but there was some kind of lack and, and something unhealthy about this energy. Now, the Ten of Earth could also be in that you, in the past, you came into some money. But something happened. And you're worried about it right now. But you need to stop worrying. Okay? Worry brings more worry and you're worrying unnecessarily. That's the Seven of Earth. You got the nine of air tells me you're worrying. And then you got some internal conflict going on. You got the five of fire. But now all these feelings could be because of you're going through a transformation, you know, an ending. All right. So all these feelings could be just that you're going through the ending, you know, and you feel a little upside down. You are feeling a lot of negativity and you're having some sleepless nights. You got the Eight of Air, you got the Knight of Cups, and you got the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is you. The Eight of Air, I would say, is whatever that situation, the unhealthy situation was, whatever that was, um, you got yourself in and you're going to get yourself out of. And it was a romantic situation. You got the Eight of Air, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups. And this is giving you some kind of anxiety. Now, it could be because it's ending. Or isn't it? Or is it? Mm. So, let's see. Um, the Awakening card. You had a pause still. You had a pause. Can't move still. You got the Three of Cups, you got the Moon, and you got the Two of Cups. You felt this was a good love. Or, because of this ending, like I said, you're making room for something new to come in. So you got the Three of Cups. There's a celebration. 
the moon, something is going to be revealed to you. Listen to your intuition and pay attention. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. And then the two of cups. This is unified love, a mutual attraction. Something beautiful coming. The three of cups, the moon, and the two of cups. Just trust yourself and listen to your intuition. You got the high priestess here. On top of the high priestess, you got the queen of fire, you got the world, and you got the balance card. Well, the queen of fire could be uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, or it could be that you found the courage to move on and find you some new love. Or it could be that the queen of fire is the new love. I'm not sure. It's only you know. <laughs> we got the world card. Something comes to successful co completion. So maybe whatever the past is, maybe you were finally able to let go of that. And you have restored your balance. We got the Queen of Fire, we got the World, and we got the Balance card. And this is above the High Priestess, so start using your intuition, start trusting yourself. And you got the Page of Water. You're very intuitive. You need to listen to yourself. The Queen of Earth, this is a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn energy here. You need to use your intuition where this energy is concerned. That's the energy up here, isn't it? This is the energy. That's the past energy. You're still thinking about it, even though something you might have walked in. Or is that fire energy somehow involved in, in this here? I don't know. Only you know. <laughs> so you got the Queen of Earth, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or it could be you know how to handle the money, baby. Then we got the strength card. You found your inner strength. And you got the king of fire. I don't know what's going on here, but you took charge of something. Or there is indeed a, a fire energy, a energy in your environment. A Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius, okay? There's something here. And there's something to do with an earth energy. An earth and a fire energy. And it's a situation you got yourself tied up in. Why is it still lingering? You got to make a choice. It's up to you. Only you can make the decision. Only you can bring happiness into your community. <clears throat> you got to make a choice and stop procrastinating. You're overanalyzing things. Do what makes you happy. Stop living other people's lives and start living yours. <laughs> but you have some choices just make the right one only you can make the decision okay darling these cards were not etched in stone okay anything can change and it can change because we have free will all right babies so we got choices we got the seven of cups we got the seven of fire and we got the four of fire you have a lot to celebrate And Pisces here, now we got the Queen of Air. Now the Queen of Air could be an air energy. It could be a Gemini, uh, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or it could be you've decided to clear away all this crap that don't no longer serve you and move on. Because then we got the Page of Cups here. You need to really listen to yourself. You got to use your intuition. You got the gift and you need to use it. Ask your angels for guidance. Ask Creator. Come on now. Ask your benevolent ancestors, darlings. You got this. And the night of earth, you got a routine now. Things are slow and steady. You're kind of apprehensive about this new situation. The queen of air, the page of cups, you got to use your intuition, okay? And the night of earth. One more card here. Ah, there we go. You do have to make a choice, okay? Bottom line is, use your intuition. You're going through some kind of ending, you're experiencing a life event right now, it might be emotional, but you got choices, you gotta make a choice. You gotta make, that's the only way you're gonna be able to move on. Okay, my darlings? 
It's totally up to you guys. I got the Page of Air, I got the Transformation card, and I got the Two of Air. <laughs> it is so cold here, and I hate having the heat on, but I can't stand the cold weather. And it's like drying me all out, and I can't stand it. I gotta put on my humidifier. But anyway, so you got some choices to make. It's all up to you. It's totally up to you. It's totally up to you. You need to look at that energy that was that's not healthy for you, okay, for your environment. All right. Pay attention. Make the choices that you need to make. Be aware. You are the magician, you know. It's just, it's all totally up to you. It's totally up to you. So you got the seven of air and the magician. So the seven of air is like if you feel people are getting away with things or it could be some betrayal in your environment or something. So, but the magic is alive and well. You just got to make choices, baby. Babies. Oh, darlings. Everything will work out. It's totally up to you, okay? Just be gentle with yourself. Do it with love. Forgive. And remember, forgive them too. Forgiveness is for you. And still open your heart up to the possibilities of love. Start loving you the way you expect or the kind of love you want to bring in. I love you guys. You take care and we will chat soon.